Yeah. Ah, we're thrilled to be out here, you guys. Tim's going to be here out in a little bit. My name is John Christ. I'll be your host. No applause for me. Okay, that's cool. I got no. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. Get to Hawkins. Okay, everybody. <laughs> Most important thing you need to know about me, you guys, I was homeschooled. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Hey, listen, a lot of people make fun of homeschool. A lot of people make fun of homeschool. I don't, okay? To me, it was like the goodest thing that ever happened to me. Okay? <laughs> okay, does everybody get that? Are we good? It's just a warm-up. Wow, that doesn't sound right to me. My dad was a preacher. I grew up in church. You know what that means. I was the worst-behaved kid in church. And you can laugh at that joke. The PKs aren't even in here right now. They're out in the parking lot vandalizing your car. So you're going <laughs> I had to I had to move to a new city. You guys haven't found a church yet to go to in Denver, so I've been giving my tithe money to this Christian organization that feeds the hungry. Uh, Chick-fil-A. That's right. <laughs> it's a miracle. Wow. Okay. Oh, man, this is, a, I read this the other day, this is not even made up. I read that the most popular baby name, most popular baby name for a baby girl this year could be Barista. <laughs> I don't even have a joke for that. I'm just reporting the news. What? Like, way to set your kid up for a lifetime of success. Here's our daughter, Barista. Here's our son, Fry Cook. Just a... <laughs> Just name your kid a normal name. I was eating dinner the other day at the restaurant, and the server, I'm not making this up, the server, her name tag said, waitress. I was like, excuse me, waitress? She's like, um, it's Watrice. Oh, look at him. Just name your kid a normal name. My parents named every kid in our family a Bible name. Parents, you gotta stop doing that. Just because you name a kid a Bible name doesn't mean he's gonna be a good kid. I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure in sixth grade, a kid named Jesus stole my bike. So. And people are now, they're naming their kids Bible names. They're not even reading the Bible anymore, it seems like. After a show the other day, this couple comes up to me. He's like, here's our two sons, Judas and Goliath. Like, Those aren't the good characters. Yeah, if you're a Christian, if you're not a Christian in here tonight and you don't get that joke, you better just laugh along because the Christians are judging you right now. I knew it about him. I am happy to be here. I, God's blessed me. I've been giving to my church pretty good, but I try to tithe as much as I can. It seems like everywhere you go, they're asking you for money, doesn't it? Even the fast food restaurants, they're asking you for money. You're just trying to order fast food. Like, sir, would you be willing to donate a dollar to help at-risk children? <laughs> oh, slow down. You're going to ask me in front of the whole place right now? Sir, do you even care about children? <laughs> Like, I'm not ready to make a decision on saving kids' lives right now. I'm trying to decide between a McChicken and a McDouble, all right? I'm not ready for this. Mm, really, sir? And Chipotle, they do it different. Instead of asking for a whole dollar, they just round up to the next dollar to support whatever issue they got going on. Last time I was in Chipotle, my meal was $7.98. And the lady <laughs> looks at the register, looks at me and goes, Sir, uh, would you be willing to donate two cents to help the children? <laughs> Nah, I'm good. <laughs> no extra expenditures. I'm on step one of the Dave Ramsey plan. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Wow. Better than I deserve. Sometimes you gotta like mine a certain topic to find the humor there as a comedian. Sometimes God will just hand you one free. That's someone's in McDonald's. Not even making this up. Lady goes, sir, in McDonald's. Sir, would you be willing to donate a dollar to help stop childhood obesity? We're at McDonald's. What are you gonna do? Just raise enough money to close this place down? <laughs> She's gonna put skinny doors in this place so husky kids can't get in? <laughs> <laughs> Every Happy Meal come with a pair of running shoes? I don't know, you guys. I'm a, it's not up to me. 
I try to grow up. I try to be mature, but my roommates is not good. All my roommates ever do all day is play video games all day. I'm like, guys, we got to stop playing video games. Like, John, we're different, man. We only play games that are rated M for mature. I was like, they make video games rated M for mature? Doesn't that exclude everybody that plays video games? <laughs> How does that work? What's the new Call of Duty that just came out? Any of the kids know? Call of Duty, the new one? Ghost. Yeah, Ghost. The next one's coming out next summer. It's going to be possible to be. It's called Call of Duty to move out of your parents' basement. It's going to be, yeah, it's just going to be. <laughs> how do you beat this one? Get a job. That's how you beat that one. It's just... <laughs> my roommates love to play the Wii they love the Wii if you don't know anything about the Wii basically the whole premise of it is to take things you're terrible at and put them in video game format so you can succeed at them <laughs> so if you're like unathletic and uncoordinated you're probably awesome at like Wii golf you know all in one <laughs> if you're white you probably got high scores on Wii hip hop dance revolution just <laughs> I was at the store the other day that found a game for my roommate. I brought it home for him. I was like, hey, dude, I got a game for you. Uh, it's called We Pay Rent. <laughs> I was real sheltered growing up. I didn't realize how sheltered I was until last time I went home. I was actually looking through a photo album. I saw a picture of me and my brother in the bathtub together. You guys, I was 17. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a little close for that. I feel like my parents, I just realized this, my parents kind of like changed the Bible stories to fit their parenting strategy. Any parents do that? I always thought we'd get leprosy from not wearing sunblock at the pool. I was like, this doesn't seem right. <laughs> my parents never had a sip of alcohol in their entire lives, never drank in their entire lives. My favorite Bible story was when Jesus turned all that water into sweet tea. That was great. Yeah, it's, mm, it's a miracle. <laughs> Here's my parents' rule in the house growing up. They said, no movies that aren't realistic. So we couldn't watch like Terminator or Die Hard because they said, those movies aren't realistic. I was like, dad, this rule doesn't make any sense. You just made us watch a movie where Bible characters are being played by vegetables. <laughs> really? Veggie Tales. Thanks for, are you going to do that the whole show? Are you going to explain jokes? Is that what's happening? Yeah. It's Veggie Tales. <laughs> Just give her a second. She could have got it on your own. You know what VeggieTales is. <laughs> Both of them in the bathtub. It's funny because you're not supposed to do that at 17. Oh, okay. Thanks, ma'am. I appreciate that. Wow. <laughs> wow. Listen, I think homeschool, that might be the solution. Homeschool might be the way, because I know some kids, uh, they're four and five years old. My buddy asked them to, to come out and watch his kids play soccer. I got out there three minutes late, walk out of the soccer field. I'm like, hey, what's the score? My buddy goes, uh... We don't keep score here. Mm -mm. All these kids are winners. You do that here in St. Louis? I was like, all these kids are winners. That kid's got his jersey on inside out and he's chasing a butterfly. That kid's not a winner. It's <laughs> not even made up. They've outlawed the use of red pen in the school district because they read is too aggressive of a color for kids. For real, they're going to see the color red and be reminded of their failures. When they get older, they're going to see red and be insecure. I don't even have a joke for that. I'm just reporting the news. What? Like, here's the grading system for all of us coming through school. A, B, C, D, F. Like, we skipped a letter to make sure kids knew they were failures. You can't give a kid an E for more effort? No. F. Failure. Like one time in high school, I got an F with an exclamation point on it. Just mm. kids need to learn to succeed and fail, right, everybody? Yeah. I think it's good for a kid to create a culture of failure in his life, so then he can get older and play for the Rams. You know what I'm saying? Just a, no, just no, just. I've been waiting a year to tell that joke, you guys. <laughs> I was like, where is he going with this one? I'm just saying, kids need to learn to succeed and fail. It's good for kids. My neighborhood this year, no more diving board at the pool. No more diving board, because last summer, some idiot kid tried to go off the diving board with his eyes closed. 
That's not the time to laugh. Wow, okay. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, kids getting hurt, yeah. Slow down, man. <laughs> Kid went over to the diamond board with his eyes closed, landed on the concrete, and they were like, They were like, no more diving board. It's not safe for kids. America, that is not the solution, okay? If kids want to be idiots, we got to start weeding some of these kids out. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying there's no trampolines. There's no bike ramps. There's no diving boards. And you wonder why you got grown men walking around in skinny jeans. I'm just saying. Some people are just dumb these days, you guys. You ever seen somebody and you're like, really? And they do something stupid and they get hurt and they're like, God's just really testing me. Like, no, that's gravity, okay? That's not, that's not. <laughs> I mean, I'm a Christian, but I look at some people sometimes and I'm like, even Jesus ain't taking that wheel. <laughs> Jesus probably would, but. <laughs> No! No! <laughs> Take your wheel and your rims. What? No! Wow! Don't cheer for that. <laughs> I'm just saying, kids need to learn. That's my premise, you guys. Kids need to learn. Anybody seen a trampoline in 2014? You seen a new trampoline? Oh, my buddy's got one. It's got like 360 degree netting around the whole thing, you know? Padding on everything metal. There's like an escalator to get up onto that thing. We don't want any kids getting hurt on the trampoline. Like, I'm pretty sure when I was growing up, you would get tetanus just climbing onto the trampoline. <laughs> Remember a trampoline springs be popping off, hitting kids in the face? <laughs> I'm a skinny kid. I got double bounces not made up. Double bounce landed with a spring right between my legs. And none of the kids stopped jumping. The spring was still going like this. My dad saw the whole thing. He's like, walk it off. I was like, oh, God. Uh, uh. <laughs> not anymore, you guys. Two weeks ago, I was driving down my neighborhood, not made up. I saw two kids jumping on a trampoline with helmets on. <laughs> like, we used to pull the trampoline up to the house, get the neighborhood fat kid on the roof to try to bounce us into the neighbor's pool. <laughs> yes. We need to... <laughs> We need to teach the kids responsibility. And the churches, these churches aren't doing the kids any favors either. You ever been into this? I have a big mega church I go to. Like, we're just a church that knows you by name here. We're a family. And then you see this sign up on the screen. Can we please have the parent of child 46Z905 Alpha 7? <laughs> like, that's a child. That kid's going to need counseling when he gets older. I say we put the kid's name up there and what he's doing. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd bring friends to that church, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you got to come to my church. Last week, Jimmy pooped in Noah's Ark. It was like, <laughs> <laughs> and I've been in church my whole life. I kind of get the language, you know what I'm saying? I kind of know how to survive in church. But I was in the back of church the other day. We were singing that song, How He Loves Us. You know that song? Guy next to me leans over and goes, dude, who's Howie? <laughs> Explain that one. Yeah, go ahead. No, go ahead. <laughs> I'm just saying. I, and I, listen, I'm, I, I try to be mature as I can, but I'm, I'm single and make a living as a stand-up comedian. Every time I go home, there's two tables. There's the parents' table and there's the kids' table. Guess which table they seat me at? Yeah, the kids' table was like, uh-huh, gonna say the kids' table. Well, no, stop. Listen, the kids' table is awesome, okay? Yeah. Why would you want to hear Dave's story about the middle-class tax cuts when you can hear Dylan's story about how one night all of his stuffed animals came to life and they snuck out and robbed a bank? Yeah. I want to listen to that story. My uncle's, like, trying to impress everybody, talk about his 401k. My nephew snorted a noodle up his nose and pulled it out of his mouth, you guys. I looked over and I was like, what are you doing? He was like, ah. <laughs> you guys, my name is John Chris. Thank you guys so much for coming. Mm, yeah.